Y-M-C-A. Okay. So, I know it's been a while, and I miss this guy, so we had to get together and watch the sequel to a film that we both really enjoyed when it, we watched it the first time. Because it was just very hor- hor- horrific. But this one has been chasing people out of the theaters... Making people vomit, reportedly. Cry and call the ambulances. All ambulances? Seriously? Yeah. Welcome to this episode of Blood and Bruise. Alright, so, tonight we watched Terrifier 2. I was really fucking pumped about this. I saw it in the theater, got the steelbook, invited this guy over. So I could watch. That way we could do this for you guys, because it's fun and I enjoy it. It's been a while. Yeah. It was a horror slasher film running 2 hours and 18 minutes, starring David Howard Thornton, Lauren Levera, Elliot... Fullman with special cameos by Felice Rose from Sleepaway Camp and that came out in 1983 and Chris Jericho from he WWE. Was, yeah, he's been in a Smackdown versus Raw. Okay. <laughs> I feel like going into this type of movie, you know it's going to be a B movie, you know it's going to be over the top gore, you know it's going to be just that Indie nine. Low, I give it a nine. Low budget Red vibe. Into it. I give so it a nine. for me, it's, it's, a it's a more of like movies these days. Yeah, they are hitting you with the what the fuck factor, the wow factor. Yeah, that's what it's about in these movies. It's not about like necessarily the Hollywood quality of the filming or anything else. It's more of the what the fuck. Yeah, and for that, this movie for me gets an eight. Um, I knew he was gonna do that. I even liked the fucking retro revival 80s fucking music that was like, what, techno fucking 80s vibe? Even the houses and stuff, but it's saying this movie is supposed to be from 2018, a year after the first one, and I don't know, I, I really enjoyed it. So, yes, eight. So, if we had to have a favorite scene of the flick, what would you go with? I'm going to say it was definitely, for me, well, one of the many was when the clown is shooting up the, like, TV set with the Tommy gun. It was pretty awesome. And they're just all... He shot a lot of people. It was pretty awesome. And he's just got that smile on his face. Yeah. If I had to choose a favorite scene, it would probably be the one where he cuts off this chick's boyfriend's wiener and then slams it against the window towards her face and it was just kind of funny to me and uh yeah i feel like that's what horror is about take something disgusting make it somewhat funny and that's great yeah uh i i honestly kind of like the how they infuse the drugs scene into the there's a lot of drugs in this movie so if you have children I, there was no nudity, but if you it have children, and that's it, what you're going to say, don't watch because don't of the drugs. Don't watch because of the drugs. That's it. Don't worry about, about the, the, gore. the people's eyes getting fucking pulled yeah. out of their heads. Chick, don't worry about the, chick, the they chest get so, fucking busted oh, in. She gets The lady scalped. getting scalped. Don't worry about just body parts and mangled bloody messes. Actually, just watch it anyway. Without your kids. Yes. So, on the gore scale, I would go ahead and let Ryan rate it first, because I don't want him to fucking copy me like he always does. So, I'm probably already copying you. So, I'm going to go with somewhere between Grizzly and Slaughterhouse, and we're going to say that it's House. I'm actually going to go ahead and agree with that, (laughs) because (laughs) it was pretty fucking brutal. I mean... It was great. I think the special effects was intense, and it was nasty. It was all practical effects, no CGI. And it was... 
the budget was what two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and it was reported that it did 40 times its worth yeah. in the box office yeah. so that's pretty fucking impressive yeah. for tonight's beer we got something really tasty i like it a lot i think i'll probably drink it again i mean it's a nice light frothy hazy mm. i don't know about froth tonight's beer is nightmare juice a 6.4 percent hazy ipa from ghost town brewing with flavorful layers of pineapple lime zest and honeydew with a pillowy body and bright finish we give this beer a five out of five. Thank you for watching this episode of Blood and Brews. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we hope to catch you on the next one. Definitely go and check out Terrifier 2. If you liked the first one, I think you'll like this one. Even that's, more. I, mean, I liked it even more. That's just me. There's better storyline. Go see it, guys. It's definitely worth it. Have a good Rent night. Rent it on Apple TV, Amazon Prime. Have a good night. <laughs> you can get have it on YouTube. Night. Just click, search for Terrifier 2. And I hope you guys have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night. That was good. I like that. God, that felt so close. It was so close, but it was the very God end. damn it! it the very Damn! End. I felt like such a blow there. Okay. It was the very end.